All right, so we're going to create our stream analytics job now that we've got events flowing through from our um, Azure function um, into our event hub. Our stream analytics job will be our consumer. So we'll just give it a name, otherwise subscription, resource group, all that's kind of st pretty standard stuff. Once our stream analytics resource is deployed, we need to uh, configure the inputs and outputs. So <clears throat> you can see in the job topology, we've got input. Um, we'll add a stream input being an event hub. Uh, stream analytics should pick up the event hub that's already in our um, subscription. So we'll just give it an alias. Otherwise all other settings um, can be set to default. You can see you can set consumer group here, but if we don't set anything, it'll end up being set to the default. Once the uh, input has been tested successfully, we'll start to craft our SQL query. Okay. So you can hear, you can see here we've got our query on the right hand side, but on the left we need to, um, before we can test our query, we need to get some sample data. So you, you've got to imagine all um, the data is uh, streaming from the Azure, Azure function to our event hub. Um, so in stream analytics, we can request some, like a minute in this case, a minute worth of sample data. Um, and once that sample data comes back, we can then run our um, SQL to, to test, um, provide, you know, produce a craft essentially whatever output that we want. So, okay, so the, the samples come back. So we'll just change this statement to the select star from stream input test okay and you can see here there was all our bitcoin price data starting to to come through so within that minute we had uh six rows one every 10 seconds which makes sense um but rather than select star we'll actually craft um something specific for the graph um, that we want to produce. So we'll just select SQL statement. Just get rid of that stuff. Okay. Um, so the what we want to pass through to our output is simply the timestamp, which is in Epoch Unix time. So we're converting that um, to an actual event date and casting the last price for each record um, as a float at the moment. Everything's coming through as a string as it was from the JSON. So if we test that, the same six records should now be cast as dates and floats. Yep. Okay, we'll save that query. And then finally, we'll create um, our output. So for output, you can see you can output to Cosmos DB, to Blob or Table Storage, but we're going to actually output to Power BI. So stream output is our alias. We'll call it uh, Bitcoin uh, Dataset Bitcoin Table. So we need to authorize um, uh, stream analytics to be able to create uh, the data set in the Power BI workspace. Let's click save. Wait for it to test the output. So now that we've configured our input, we've configured our query and we've configured our output. Um, the last bit is to go back to the overview and actually start the stream analytics job. Okay, so this, this will take some time, but um, so, so far we've created the Azure function, which has, uh, which is on a regular basis, is it's invoking the REST API for the Bitcoin price data, passing those as events to Azure Event Hub. Azure Event Hub is um, passing, uh, allowing those events to be consumed by Stream Analytics as an input, and the Stream Analytics is running a 
SQL query as the data is pass passing through and allowing Power BI to act as an output. So in the next video, we'll look at how we can consume the output in Power BI and visualize the data in um, a real-time streaming tile.